To draw a rectangular duct, we are going to use the Rectangular Duct toolbar. With the Drawing command options, we can draw all the parts of the first step. Let's start with the longest section, and then we'll continue to the end of the branch using the same command. Choose the type of network and the profile dimensions, here 900 by 700. Then right click to choose an option, here coming from above. With a normal elbow. Extend the length of the duct in the same way as drawing a line with a line command in AutoCAD. Right click to select an American elbow. Then change the profile size to 700 by 700. Right click to select downwards. With a normal elbow. The next elbow will also be normal. If extended a bit too far, the length can be brought back. Right click and select Offset. Here we offset by 250 mm with a 30 degree angle, which gives us a length of 721 mm. Click OK. Click to choose the direction of the offset. Then continue drawing the duct. Finally, right click to select a Y branch. The first elbow will be 450 mm in width with a 45 degree angle. The second elbow's width will be 450 mm and it's kept at a 90 degree angle. Click OK. Now with one click, choose which way to continue the duct. Here it is going in the wrong direction, so I right click to change the angle. Select Same for the drawing to continue at the same angle as the previous part. Then click and click again. Finally, right click to select a cap. To connect to this rectangular duct, we are going to use one of the two pickup commands. There are two lines, therefore we use the two line pickup command. Select the duct, then right click to select circular transformation. Choose 450 for diameter and then select send it. Continue drawing. Right click and choose change diameter. Change it to 250. The reduction is also centered. Now a simple click creates the elbow and the conduit. Right click to create another reduction by choosing change diameter. Change it to 160 with an off-centered reduction. Continue the duct, and then right-click to choose Cap. We are going to draw a circular duct connecting to a rectangular duct. We will use the circular duct drawing commands. Start the circular routing command. Select the type of network, and then the profile size. Then right-click to select the option Connection. The Connections dialog box opens. Choose the appropriate connection. A circular duct onto a rectangular duct. Now select the rectangular duct. Autofeed finds the center line automatically. Now click a second point. The connection is made. Right click to call the end of the network register option. Choose the direction of the flow. And select the type of register. Specify the dimensions of the plenum colored green and the dimensions of the register as you can see here and here. Then click OK. The registers appear. Then click to indicate the distance between the register and the arrows. Subsequent clicks will draw new arrows at the same distance as indicated with the first click. When all the arrows are placed, Confirm, and the command ends. To draw a break or a rectangular duct, 
use the bracket command in the rectangular depth toolbar. Select the duct and specify the level of each depth, or the gap between the two levels. Input 300, confirm, and the second level will come up. The unit of the levels can be changed in preferences. Now choose the shape of the brick. It can be two elbows at 30 degrees, two elbows at 15 degrees, or a single piece at 30 degrees. A 30 degrees single piece is equivalent to this offset. Select the two elbows at 30 degrees. Indicate that the highest level is on the side by clicking here. Then place the brick. To draw this circular duct, let's use the circular duct routing command. Choose a type of network and a profile size. Then right click to call the connection option and choose the appropriate type of connection. Here, a circular duct onto another circular duct. Select the duct to connect to. Autofeed finds the center line. Click a second point and then right click to the option 45 degree Y branch. Click on the side you decide to continue the duct on. Extend it and right click to select upwards. Now use the three lines pick up command in circular duct. Select the duct and continue to extend it. Then right click and choose downward. 